In 2013, an Indonesian toddler named Aldi Rizal made international headlines for being the world's youngest chain smoker. This tubby two-year-old's incredible habit began when his desperate mother used cigarettes to stop his relentless crying. The cigarettes pacified him, but also proved highly addictive, and his habit quickly ballooned to 40 cigarettes a day. It took five years for Aldi to kick his habit. But he's still not on the healthy straight and narrow. The tubby youngster's new addiction is junk food. On number 10. Mother who sold virginity of daughter. Felicia McClure of Utah was charged with multiple sex felonies against a minor after she attempted to offer her 13-year-old daughter's virginity to a man for $10,000. McClure had also sold pornographic photos of the girl to another man. Fortunately, virginity sale never went through. McClure's boyfriend alerted police to the situation after finding text messages describing the deal. McClure's charges could land her life in prison. Drunk and high dad leaves baby in oven overnight. After getting high on marijuana at work, Larry Long returned home to share a fifth of whiskey with the baby's mother. When mother retired for the night, Larry got drunk more finishing the entire bottle. The next morning, Larry awoke to his baby screaming from inside the oven. Luckily, the door had been left slightly ajar and the oven was off. While showing some decency, Larry called a mental health hotline to confess what he'd done, and the operators referred the incident to police. The baby was swiftly removed from the irresponsible parent's care. Police arrested Larry and charged him with first-degree wanton endangerment. The mother who returned adopted son to Russia. A seven-year-old boy, adopted by a woman from Tennessee, was sent alone on a one-way flight back to Moscow with a note saying he was violent and had severe psychological problems. The boy, Artyom Savelyev, was put on a plane by his adoptive grandmother. According to her, the child was mentally unstable, violent and had severe psychopathic issues. We think this was totally unfair, mother should have taken responsibility of child and could have given him right treatment. On the morning of May 22, 2015, police found Jair Donnelly dead on a park swing, citing hypothermia and dehydration as the cause of death. Remegia Sims one day decided to take her son to a park. And there, she stayed pushing her son on a swing set for two consecutive days. When a passerby noticed the mother and son had been there for two days she notified authorities. The mother entered a mental hospital soon after her son's death, and it is not yet clear whether charges are going to come against her for her son's death. Only weeks before the tragic event, baby's daddy petitioned for custody of their son, saying he was concerned for child safety and well-being. A Florida mom was arrested for arranging a fight between her daughter and another teenage girl. Sandra Padilla Miranda asked her daughter's nemesis to come over after school so the girls could uppercut their troubles away. The girls, aged 14 and 17, started throwing fists to a large cheering crowd. Like most things these days, the shenanigans were recorded and posted on Facebook. She was charged with child abuse and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. A feuding couple forgot their eight-month-old baby boy in a parking lot and headed out separately. It wasn't until the mother arrived home that she realized that the father didn't have him either. Little Ezra Isaiah Reyes was left in parking lot after each parent thought the other had him. A street vendor who found the boy in his stroller. He was sitting in the sun, on the hot concrete. The little guy was a bit dehydrated, but otherwise fine. Nia Parler allegedly left her 21-year-old son in woods and traveled to Maryland for romantic getaway with her boyfriend. She wrote I'm so happy on Facebook only 24 hours after abandoning her son. She left her disabled son covered with a blanket next to a wheelchair and a Bible. 
He would have died if passers-by hadn't spotted him as he was there for five days. She is now facing attempt of murder charge. A young Florida mother pled guilty to killing her baby's son over a game of Farmville. Mother said her three-month-old child, Dylan, refused to stop crying while she was trying to play Farmville. Angered Alexandra shook the baby, then left to have a cigarette. Calm and refreshed, Alexandra returned from her cigarette break and shook the baby again, this time killing it. Alexandra was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to 50 years in the slammer. In 2008, Elizabeth Fritzl told Austrian police she'd been repeatedly raped and held captive for 24 years in the hidden basement of her family house. Her sick captor was none other than her father, Joseph Fritzl. Elizabeth was raped and physically assaulted literally thousands of times, resulting in the birth of seven children and one miscarriage. Four of the incest-born children were also forced to endure this horrific imprisonment. Joseph Fritzl was finally arrested in April 2008 and sentenced to life behind bars. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to our channel 10 Degree Facts for more such exciting videos.